And you all thought I was going to miss Galway? <laughs> Shame on you! The another thing that I've never ever understood. Why are they making us walk all the way round and round and round in a circle when there's no one here? Literally doing like unnecessary steps. Who even wants to burn calories at this hour of the morning? It's just, uh, quite frankly, bloody mental. Welcome to Shannon. I'll tell you one thing. We certainly didn't bring the uh, weather with us. Christ no, almighty. <laughs> Right, hitting up the uh, bus straight into Galway. Costs 10 euros, so um, not too bad. Saving money, trying to make it as cheap as possible. The weather here in Shannon is absolutely beautiful. What a glorious day. Welcome to Galway Races. I'm gonna take you inside the race course. We're gonna have a spin round and I'm gonna show you this marvelous place where the crack this week is gonna be off the hook. Now, before we get cracking, if you're wondering why I've got the shades on and the clouds are pretty grim, it's because I'm pretty knackered, but here we go. How are we doing? What's happening, boy? What's Give us a crack? tip. Give us a tip. Top tip, boy. You spend your money on points instead of bets, all right? <laughs> Fair play. We've got Guinness, Guinness, Guinness and oysters. And uh, the first thing you notice when you come into the course is there is a lot of Guinness around because you come to Ireland, and if you come to the Galway races, you've got to sink a pint of the black stuff. And all of these people are getting stuck in bright and early. I definitely didn't bring the English weather with me, did I? But uh, they've got a lovely new grandstand here at Galway. It does look pretty jazzy indeed. So well done to Galway for investing in racing and making the facilities even better. And in behind me, is the track here. We're moments away from the first race. The track's looking absolutely beautiful here at Galway. The clouds are kind of masking how great it is down here, but uh, it is a glamorous day and the ladies are posing for photos. Very, very brave. The place to be, the winning post. Punter's getting stuck in down here on the betting ring. Mate, who's gonna win the first? Big Lynn. Big Lynn. Yeah. Lads, who's gonna win the first race here at Galway today? The Boucher. The Boucher, yourself? Or the same, yeah. The same. Line, yeah. Drive on, kick on boys, kick on. <laughs> Punter's getting stuck in down here in the ring at Galway. If only the weather would cheer up. The Boucher over the line. And it's City Island now forging on from the Boucher. Get a reason is running on strongly in the middle of the track. They're inside the last 150 yards of City Island from Get a reason. The Boucher. <laughs> Is already going off. Come on, you good team, get up. That's it. Just doing. It's been a while. <laughs> We're back. A pint of real Irish Guinness. Cheers. Ah, delicious. Look at this man flossing at Galway. <laughs> Incredible moves. He's got the moves. Go on, you good team. <laughs> Brilliant. It's another winner here at Galway for man of the moment, Henry de Bromhead in red hot form at the moment. Eight winners from his last 31 runners and another cracking ride from Rachel Blackmore. This is a horse going places fast. And this man is back the winner, hold it up. Patrick Mullins, you're a winner at Galway. Yeah. Good man. Yeah, you're on now, mate. What's going to win the Galway plate? Uh, the next one. Yeah. I'm going for Barry Garrity. Barry Garrity. And uh, they'd be able to stop. Yeah. Uh, just lots, like Carl, we don't know where I'm going. Right. Uh, good. Uh, I must go back. We don't have two hands. I hope I get the chance to try. It's all over. When I want. Down here in the betting ring for the big race of the night, the Galway Plate. The current favourite is Patrick Spark at 11 to 2 for Willie Mullins. Slow motion for Joseph O'Brien, eight, Snow Falcon, 11s, Tully East, 12s. My fancy, Colino the air for Henry de Bromhead, a man in form. It's a bit of a cold, windy day here at Galway, but we're soon set to see who wins the Galway plate. Barry Garrity's mount here, slow motion. Ruby in behind on the current favorite for Willie Mullins. 
The atmosphere is building here at Galway, ahead of the Galway plate. It's set to be a terrific race, one of the highlights of the week. Ryan Cooper just walking in here, riding for Henry de Bromhead. He's on a very young, promising six-year-old. The winner in a big race, Mark Enright, Clara Cam for Gordon Elliott. What a performance, what a front-running ride. Absolutely terrific all the way. Absolutely lashing it down like Galway. Hashtag. Good job. I bought the Mac. What a day. Galway folks, a good day besides the weather, it is lashing down, it's been a pretty grim all day, um, there we go, Clara came won a big race, I'm getting drenched, I think I'm going to uh, pick up with you all a bit later on, adios, oh, soggy as hell. Been a grim day on the old weather front here in Galway, just down here in the city centre, and uh, gonna go and get a bit of grub. Trying to find somewhere decent to eat. Holler if you know somewhere decent to eat in Galway. Feel like a bit of a drained rat at the moment. Bit of a karaoke going on outside Labrooks at the moment. Scenes. Let's go, let's go and pick it up. <laughs> There you go, James Connolly, the lowdown. Food, food, food. We've got a sweetie shop. We need some food. Let's keep looking. Murphy's ice cream. Might be hitting that up later. Murphy's ice cream. Shout out to Murphy's ice cream. There's always one. Normally me. That's Irish coffee with whiskey inside, Jameson's. It's delicious, you've got to check this place out. Murphy's in Galway. Real Irish cows, beautiful milk, beautiful cream. And this is a 10 out of 10. Coffee with Jameson's. It's a win-win situation, boys. Oh, 
beautiful. Airbnbs by the bollocks. State of that. Oh, that's better. It hasn't stopped raining all freaking day. A decent, lovely lady. She's got me a nice little loaf of bread there. Irish bread. Gonna get stuck into my fish and chips now. My uh, my soggy fish and chips. <laughs> the, the day the sign I can't even talk properly anymore. I give up. Fuck it. YOLO. Can't talk. Anyway, yeah, see you later. Welcome to Ladies Day here at the Galway Racers. The crowds are already piling in on what looks set to be a tremendous day. How are you making it? As soon as you walk into the course, the first thing you notice is a terrific atmosphere here at Galway. Everyone's here for a great day out. Guinness bars everywhere, that's the Guinness village over there. Food places, restaurants, carveries. Everyone's really well dressed. The youngsters have made a great effort. The weather is absolutely horrific at the moment. It hasn't stopped raining and uh, people are pretty much just keeping under cover, hiding at the moment. It's, uh, it's a great shame. The rain is just piling down. Hopefully it clears off later on in the day. We do have a few markets. <laughs> Welcome to Galway, welcome to Ladies Day. Now unfortunately the weather at this stage is pretty grim but the ladies have made a tremendous effort. Hiya! Let's kick on with today's market movers, the master Dermot Weld. He's had a horse well back today. Yulong Gold Ferry in the 325, been punted in from 5 to 2 into 7 to 4. The master of Galway. In the 4 o'clock, a man in red hot form. Henry de Bromhead's horse, Manella Times. That's been punted in from seven to one into nine to two. And in the last, one of the masters, Charles Burns. He's had a horse very well backed here. Seven to two into 11 to eight. I've actually forgotten his name, but I'm enjoying a Guinness. Have a great day and be lucky. Galway is the place to be, even in the rain. Here comes your favorite for the next race for Willie Mullins, Cardium. Looking extremely well, 11 to 10. Willie's in terrific form. Will he be a winner? Let me know down below here at Galway on Ladies' Day. Have you done it, lad? You look at the cameras first. You're all smiling, yeah? It may be raining. People are still enjoying themselves. Hammering it down here in Galway. It does not stop, relentless. Fair play to the ladies, I couldn't give a monkey, it's just out rocking and rolling. Hey, soon boys, always win. Galway Races 2018, yup, yup, yup. I'll leave it on that. It's another winner here for Dermot World at Galway. A fantastic ride, Yulong Gold Fairy, in the winner's enclosure for Dermot World. The horses are here in the parade ring before the Guinness Galway hurdle. Willie Mullins has, has six horses running here. This is number 12, Blazer. Looks particularly well. An interesting runner here is Charger for Patrick Mullins. Had a grade one at his mercy when he fell. He could go well today. Boy to Rev. Another one for Willie. Katie O'Farrell doing the steering. This is Whiskey Sour. An incredible two wins last year at Galway. He's a really talented horse, off the mark of 141. He could take some stopping today if he could goes on this deep ground. Looking well. Max Dynamite, a high class flat horse, yet to reproduce that level of form over the sticks, but today could be his day. The mount of Ruby Walsh. Looks really, really well. Good luck, Sam. Good luck, Pat.
may be raining, but this man is smiling. Patrick Mullins, what a ride, what a horse. Charger for Willie Mullins. Congratulations. Yeah. Well done, Pat. Thanks. Final race on the card is a bumper here. Dr. Duff for Charles Burns is your current 7-4 favourite, well backed throughout the day. You raised me up as a 5-2 shot. He's being punted and golden spread is 4-1. A vibrant betting ring. Down Thanks, here at Galway. How are we doing? What's going to win? Shout out to Penultimate Picks. You've just done it. Penultimate Picks, how are you doing? Aaron Flanagan tomorrow, sweetie. How are you doing? Who's going to win the last? Uh, oh, tough one, tough one. And I don't know much about him, to be honest with you. Yeah. Good man, good luck. Watch myself. There we go. Could it be a Charles Burns winner in the last? Lads, who's going to win the last race here at Galway? Who's going to win? Oh, 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 oh. Dr. Duff. I have 505 euro on that. 505 euro. <laughs> I'm not wrong. What's the best thing about coming to Galway? The, crap. the women, crap. the women, the women. He said it. We've got him. He knows. Good luck. There you go. You heard it here at Galway. Well, that's a wrap on Galway day four. The party atmosphere is on the way. People are here at the band singing and dancing, and I'm sure they're going to be here for a while enjoying Hello, themselves. I'm Johnny Cash. Here we go! Oh. It's Johnny Cash! Today's racing was pretty much. Willie Mullins once again, the main man. It was a treble on the day for Willie, including a big win for Sharjah, ridden by son Patrick Mullins under top weight. Ruby kicked off the proceedings with a winner for the punters, and the main man, Dermot World, had a great winner here, Yulong Gold Ferry. Well backed, five to two, into 11 to eight. It's been a good day. How are we doing? Good man. What a bargain. Good lads. It's been a cracking day here at Galway, as always. Come racing. Just to watch you now. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. One more time. Scoffing ice cream, love it. Murphy's, shout out to Murphy's. Shout out to the bunch of grapes. Looks like great fun. Hashtag, maybe not. 
Shout out to Guinness. I'm off to find a good pint of that now. Off to Taffs. Taffy Taffs. Shout out to this girl. She's been playing music two days in a row. <laughs> Scenes. This is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh dear. I did say this is not gonna happen. Still going. Everyone wants to be a Superman. Carnage outside McDonald's. Another one bites the dust. Right, just leaving the Airbnb, £40 a night, two nights total, 80 quid. Got a flight with Ryanair, booked it in advance, cost me um, I think £57 from London to Shannon, and then a tenner from the coach from Shannon to Galway, both ways, so 20, 57, and 80. Not bad, saving money all the time. Just gonna get a cab now, go down to the beach, see the famous Galway beach, and um, great two days at Galway, fantastic vibes down there. Shame about the weather, but uh, great racing, great people, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Adios for now. Galway racers, I see you. We're here at the famous Galway Black Rock. Quite a beautiful day today. The sun has started to make a bit of an appearance and um, it's looking quite nice at this stage. Shout out to all the people in the middle of the ocean there swimming. I'm sure it's absolutely fucking freezing. You're braver than Blogsy. Oh, I can smell the salt. Oh, beautiful. So this is basically over there is where people are diving in. I'm gonna go over and uh, get the low down. Glorious day. Right, trying not to break my neck. Scenes. Shout out to all the brave people in the water. I know that um, the Spanish Sea in uh, the north is absolutely freezing and I know this is the same, so uh, I ain't getting in. Beautiful. Didn't manage to get the boat this morning. I wanted to go and see the dolphins, but um, it didn't quite work out. So instead we're gonna go for a walk and uh, hopefully find somewhere to get a nice Irish stew and a cup of coffee in a bit. And then I'm gonna go and watch a bit of uh, Goodwood somewhere and see where the day takes us. You've got balls of steel and that's where people are diving off. Although I haven't seen anyone dive off just yet. Black rock. Feels like a... More ice cream, more calories, getting fatter by the day. These girls are going to the... Races! What makes you head over from London to Galway? The sesh. The, the crack. Se the sesh. <laughs> love, love the honesty, the crack, the Irish crack. The crack. Uh, the crack. You've been to Galway before? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh, pros. Last year. Last year. And, then, and you're back again. Races, obviously. Wow. <laughs> Galway, you've got to love these girls. If you see them, look after them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, are you going racing tomorrow or just the one day? Just one day. Just the one, one day. day. Only. One day yeah. Only. Big night out tonight. Too old, too old for the sesh. The queues for the Galway bus. The sun has finally come out to play after two days of non stop rain. It's going to be a firecracker. Judging by the size of the crowds, is Limini a good thing? Well, absolutely. Oh, sorry, a certainty. Yeah. A certainty. certainty. Limini's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put your house on Get your house on it, eh? All right. Good man. Confidence here for Limini at Galway. Lads, is Limini going to win? Is Limini going to win? Uh, I 
Six to four. Can't go wrong. Limini, good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Hey, Limini, is Limini going to win? Oh, good mate, how are you? Not very good. Limini? Don't mind what Karen Frampton says. We love you. Great crack down here in Galway. Come racing. So remember we were driving, driving in your car, sweet so fast, but like that was just Jumping on the budget, a double cheeseburger, two euro, an Americano, two euro, four euro, 22 grams of protein, 38 grams of carbs, and about 15 fat, brilliant macros, satiety filled, protein numbers hit for four euro. Incredible. Still freaking going. Main attraction here besides the racing, watching a man hang. Diversity of Galway, brilliant. Does Limini win live from McDonald's? Yes. Fresh. So fresh. 45 minutes to go. Get the bus back to uh, Shannon Airport. Shout out to the street entertainers out here. Rocking and rolling. Vibrant city Galway. If you haven't been, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of street performers as well. And as long as it hasn't, isn't, hasn't, can't even talk English anymore. As long as it isn't. Why aren't you at the races? Uh, we were there yesterday. Why aren't you there today? Last too much money. Yeah, bollocks. What's the tip today? Uh, Rattling jewels. Golden jewels in the last. Will, will Limini win? Uh, yes. Yeah? No. No? no. Emma Mullins. You're here in the Coma Cream situation. What's your name? Don't use yourself. Limini is a good thing, yes or no? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a guard. Yeah. Part of the guard is your calling. Is it, yeah? Hands and heels. Hands job. and heels Hands job. And yeah. heels a mortgage job. job, is it? Yeah. And more. And more. And more. And Listen, more. will Man City win the Premier League? No, obviously not. No? no. You're a Liverpool fan? No. No? Man United fan? United, yes. Oh, even Liverpool, worse. Liverpool oh, win. Oh, Mourinho. Liverpool oh. Win. Shocking, right I'll tell boys. You won't win. Arsenal. Yeah. Listen, he's bloody yeah, right he about that. Won't win. Over and out. Have a good one. There we go. That's, that's the latest vibe down here in Galway City Centre. Scenes. But um, yeah, cracking few days at Galway. The racing was fantastic. The atmosphere was brilliant. Even though it was pissing down with rain, it was just great at all times. Um, and it's a great festival. If you haven't been, be sure to check it out. There's loads of cheap Airbnbs all over the place. I stayed in one for 40 euro a night and um, you can get the bus from Shannon straight to the um, Galway for a tenner. So, not bad. And the Guinness is four euro here. Better than Dublin. Like seven euro 50 a pint there. A nightmare. So many street performers here. Really, really good. Load of energy on the streets.
But that is the vibe before I got home. Over and out. I think I've got time for one more Guinness. Cheers. Last minute airport shopping. Hmm. If you haven't tried these oats, you haven't lived. They are delicious. Shout out to Brendan. Irish sausages. Oh, black pudding. Hate the stuff. Oh, trees. Love it. Love it. You've got to love Guinness. It's like one of the best brands in the world. It's just so, so clever. Arthur Guinness. What a man. What a company. Everyone's dream. That is a pretty funky t-shirt, to be honest. Guinness merch. Unbelievable. Game by the absolute bollocks. I quite like this jumper down here. We can get Guinness and Gunners. Arsenal and Guinness. What could possibly be better than that? Look at this Guinness merch. Backpacks, the lot. Jesus, they've got the game on lockdown. That's a pretty nice cup, that. Could have a huge Americano in the morning. Let's see how much it costs. If it's under a fiver, I'll buy it. Oh my God. Hold up. Let's, let's get the price. Right, my camera is just crap, but this is 11 euros, so it's going back. Thought that actually said Putin for a minute. That is a small bottle of Jameson's, and you can get a large one in England, 15 quid. 22 euros for a small one. Jesus Christ. Oh, Great design. But um, the prices are just absolutely scandalous. There's only one thing for it. We're going to have to get another pint of Guinness. Cheers. 